Hey guys, happy Saturday to everybody. I've got Monroe here and she's gonna be the focal point while I make this video. So, addressing the elephant in the room. I'm guessing you all are wondering what that means, so I'm going to clarify. So this is in regards to my last video that I made on Wednesday, yes, on Wednesday, about the rising cost of silicone dolls and are we the, the, as the collector to blame. And so I've gotten some really interesting comments. <laughs> I'm being kind by saying interesting. And I figured this is, this is an easy way to address the, the strange comments that don't make any sense things that are twisted turned around i don't i guess i don't understand how people can watch a video if you're truly listening to what i say in my videos you will know what i mean by them i don't have hidden meanings behind the words that i use and say i tell you very openly and honestly how i feel and it's just my opinion now me expressing my opinions and feelings on the rising cost of silicones has nothing to do with me <laughs> wanting to take down the artists. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so ridiculous to me that I even feel the need to come on here and explain myself. But because there are multiple people that have pretty good sized channels out there that are speaking on this I felt the need it's important to clarify because I would never want an artist or my fellow collectors to think that I have any intentions of bringing down artists of any kind. Like it's just laughable to me. So, so that's kind of where this is stemming from and a couple of other comments that are also pretty silly and also just, I don't know how someone can take the truth of what someone is saying and twist it into something that it's not, but some people in this community are very good at doing that. And they do it on purpose. So I want to clarify. So the elephant in the room is the fact that people speak blatant lies. Clearly they're watching my videos to use as content in their future videos, which is really funny to me that they have nothing better to do. But, so I wanna clarify for everybody out there. Listen, you guys, any of you who have followed me for any length of time, you can go back, go back into the vault, guys. Go back into all of my old, old, old videos. And you can do that in YouTube. You can, you can scroll all the way back to the very beginning, the very oldest of videos, and you will see that I have 100% always done nothing but speak the praising everything. Every single thing about Claire Taylor I've ever said is nothing but positive. I adore her as an artist. I think she is a very reputable artist. I think that her work is impeccable. I've shared with you that she is my all-time favorite artist. So for someone to say that I am purposely trying to take business away from her simply because I'm voicing my concerns about the rising cost of silicones in these silent auctions is pretty, that's a, that's a really good stretch. <laughs> it's a really good stretch yeah but it's not it's not any bit the truth I just I'm allowed to share my opinions I think that all artists and I've stated this in many of my videos over and over and again like you guys probably get sick hearing it but my guess is the people that are choosing to pick certain things out of my video to twist it around are doing it just to cause problems and it's ridiculous I think that every artist out there puts their heart and soul into every creation they make. From the beginner artists all the way up to the seasoned artists that I have seen grow through the many years that I've been collecting. I appreciate every single one of their efforts and every baby they put out, I can find something very much that I love about it and can appreciate it. Even if it's not a doll I want to keep or bring home, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate the work of all artists. The reason for that video was to really make collectors stop and think about how we may all be contributing to the rising cost of silicones because I hear time and time again, there's comments on my channel constantly on my videos about the fact that people are upset because they can't afford to bring one of these beautiful creations home because of the cost of silicone rising. That's why I like these conversations because 
What collectors need to understand is that if you contribute to the rising costs, you can't really complain about it. So I am part of the blame. I even stated that in my video that I am a culprit of contributing to rising costs over the years because if I fall in love with a baby and I love it enough, I will pay just about anything to bring that baby home. I've been known to do that time and time again. But my biggest concern really is these silent auctions and I can have a say in how I feel about them. And I think based on the feedback of probably 99% of your comments that you've left on that video, none of you like the silent auctions. And the reason behind it is very, very simple. It's not transparent. Nobody knows for sure what people are bidding. Nobody knows what the price is. Nobody knows what the final price is. And that can hurt us as collectors when we go to sell later on if we got a doll from a silent auction because nobody's going to know what the true value and what was originally the price of the doll, which does come into play when you want to resell your doll in the future. We all sell. So pretending like we all don't need to know what the investment price is before we want to invest in a doll from somebody else is nonsense. We all want to know. I mean, if nobody knew the prices of silicone dolls, how would you know what to buy them for in the secondary market? Like you, you, it really just opens up a can of worms of many problems for the rest of us collectors who utilize the secondary market and purchase from it constantly. Now, we can pretend like as if we can trust everybody to be honest and forthcoming, but let's face it, if you've been in this hobby for very long, you will know that people want to make money if they can. So they, there unfortunately are going to be people out there, collectors out there, that will not be truthful and honest about what they paid for a doll because they don't want to lose money on the doll. So it'd be naive of me to think that everybody's upfront and honest and, oh, they're always going to tell the truth and what they paid for the doll. No, people don't. People don't, and it's public knowledge. I've seen people lie straight out when you can see an eBay auction and know what the doll actually cost. So that's from my experience of watching collectors buy and sell over the years. I know that I want to think the best in people, but when it's money that's involved, no. So that is one of the bigger issues I have with these silent auctions. And on top of which, how are artists ever going to hear our feedback if we don't voice our opinions? There are several artists that put out there, they want to know our opinions, how we feel about things so that they know how to move forward and how it's best to, you know, play to all of us collectors who support their business. So if almost all of us collectors out there don't like these silent auctions, then artists should know that, that maybe it's not the best way to sell. That's all. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. I am not putting down the artist. In fact, in my last video, I stated that I'm torn because I want the artist to do well. I always want the artist to make money on their creations. That's not the issue here. I just want it to be fair enough so that it makes sense and that it's not out of 99.9% .9 of the collectors reach financially to in order to obtain them. I've watched them, I've watched the silicone prices rise for years, you guys. This is a trend, I knew it was happening. But to go from thousands of dollars in literally from one edition to the next, I want to say that, yeah, by thousands of dollars that you see literally within a couple of months from, let's, let's take the, the kit editions from Claire. I'll use her as an example because that's what sparked this conversation to begin with. From when Tate and Sage were released, the prototypes for those babies were not done in a silent auction style. She, she set a price and she sold them. So the prices were set. The prices were reasonable. I think they were between $6,500 and $7,000 for the prototype of these kits. Now we have the Willow kit, which is done in a silent auction style. And I believe I was told that the, the first Willow sold for $14,000. And I know based on one of my friends who bid on the second Willow that... The second willow was definitely above 10000 We don't know the final price because I don't know who got the willow, so who knows what it went for. But I can tell you that that's a huge jump from one edition release to the next. 
that seems like it's excessively high to go from $6,500 to $7,000. I think that's what one person said they paid and I had all the bells and whistles on the Tate. Um, that's, that's doubling, more than doubling. Let's, let's put it down in numbers. That's doubling in price. And when you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars, that's, that's huge. So of course people are going to talk about it. That's, that's what we collectors do. That's why I have a channel. That's why I make videos so that we can talk about these things so that we can, you know, share our thoughts and opinions and our feelings about it because that's what we do as collectors. That's what we do. So for someone or multiple people to take that video and turn it around and then comment to one of my dear friends that I'm not being, that, oh, I'm, I'm glad you're being supportive. She's being supportive, but she's saying that you're part of the blame. We're all part of the blame, people. Anybody that's ever bid on a silent auction and bid on an eBay auction, which is all of us, we've all contributed because we want the doll badly. I get it. I do it too. But saying that I'm blaming my friend for the rising cost of a silicone doll, like really? Where do you guys come? I don't know where these people come up with these things. Like it's a stretch. It's a stretch. You need to really listen if you want to take the time to comment because I've also clarified another comment. I will respond to them and let you know when I think that you're pulling out information that doesn't make any sense or if you feel like you've misunderstood what I'm saying. I will definitely comment and I will share that in a comment response to yours under my video. But if you're going to take the time to comment, which... 99% of you out there are fantastic. I know you're listening to the words I'm saying in my video. You're not just commenting after two minutes in. I know the difference when people actually listen to the end because I can tell based on their responses and their comments to what's being said. When you don't listen through, you make things up, you twist things around, and it's ridiculous. So please don't bother to comment if you're not going to watch the whole thing and actually have something to, to contribute. I love that people comment, but don't do it in a malicious way and put words into my mouth and state that I am blaming somebody, one particular person for the rising cost of the current dolls. It's, it's silly. It's ridiculous. I'm not contradicting myself. I'm stating that I am a very torn person about this topic. I'm super torn. I love the artists work that these dolls are going for such high amounts of money. Joanna Kazmierczak, I use that as an example. I'm not giving praise and kudos to one and then putting down another. I'm saying that it's across the board, all artists out there that are getting 14, 15, 16, $20,000 for a doll. I'm bummed about it because it's craziness to me and I'm allowed to think that. I don't want my words mixed. I don't want them twisted and then put out there so the artists think that I'm putting down their work because I'm not. That is not my intention ever. In fact, I was just talking to a friend of mine about, oh my gosh, the thought of Claire Taylor actually eventually retiring made my heart drop. The thought of her not producing these beautiful creations literally makes me feel extremely sad and upset. So of course I'm not trying to take down my favorite artist. I want her to thrive. I want her to do well. But I just want the prices to be <sighs> reasonable. Doesn't even come into play this because the fact that we spend what we spend already, even ten years ago, is not reasonable. But I just I hate to see it. I hate to see artists price themselves out of majority of the market. Is all because that's essentially what's going to happen. You're going to have a very small elite. Small number of few people, very, very few people that can afford to spend that amount of money. And then what they do is they buy these directly from the artists and then they sell their other ones secondary market. And that's how it works. That's how this flow of babies come and go. It's how we have this turnover available and availability of getting dolls that we didn't think we'd once be able to get. It's because these very elite collectors have to eventually sell them. Not all, but most of them will turn over their collections to bring home new ones directly from the artist because the prices are so high. So it's just, it's supply and demand, I get it, I get it. I'm also very supportive and I want the artist to do well. Hence why I keep saying that I'm torn. But, glad I could clarify guys. <laughs> Some of you may not even, watching this may not know what the heck I'm even talking about. But if you haven't seen my previous video, 
our collectors to blame for the rising cost of silicone dolls. That I encourage you to watch and then you'll understand. If you want to read the comments below, um, please do so. There's great comments. You guys all responded in in ways that I, I was surprised that I'd have so much support in it. <laughs> I mean, I know not everybody, I don't know, maybe not everybody hates those silent auctions, but I just don't like them. I don't feel good about them. I won't participate in them. And that's going to limit me if that's the way that artists are going to actually getting a doll directly from artists, if that's the trend. And it just makes me sad. That's all. I'm not mad about it. I'm not furious. I'm not like stomping my feet and acting like a child. No, I'm just voicing my thoughts on it that I have concerns about it. And I just don't prefer that at all. And I won't participate in it. And that's my prerogative. But, um, as far as my friends who we all collectors, we have contributed to the rising costs. I truly think that we are. And that includes myself. I'm always including myself in these discussions because I am the culprit as well. That's what brings these discussions to light because I know that I'm a part of it. But what can we do as collectors? I don't really know because I'll tell you what. I would buy this doll for twice of what I paid for her. Hands down, knowing how I feel about her and how much I adore her, I would do it again tomorrow. <laughs> so once again, I'm torn. But if I want a doll bad enough, I will find the funds. But I don't think I could pay <laughs> $20,000 even if it were her. I just don't. I don't see it being a reasonable situation. I don't think I could financially do it. And I don't think I would be able to enjoy the doll if I spent that much on the doll. That's just me, though. There are collectors out there that happily spend it and they enjoy them thoroughly, which great kudos to them. I'm just not one of those collectors. That's all. So that's my thoughts on this, guys. I just wanted to make sure that I could make it very clear that I am not trying to take down any artists. <laughs> By no means, nor am I bad mouthing them or saying anything bad about their work or even saying they don't deserve the money for the dolls that they're selling. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just feeling like, I'm not going to be able to get one directly from an, the artist if this is the trend. And that makes me sad. <laughs> it just is what it is, you know. I have to, you know, go with the flow. We'll figure it out. I always do. But I certainly don't want anybody feeling like I'm putting them down, putting their work down, taking down an artist or two or three. <laughs> and nor am I blaming one person, one of my friends nonetheless, for the reason that silicone prices have gone up. And now I'm going round and round. So I'm going to end it there because I could go on and on and on about this, you guys. And I'm not going to do that to you. If you stuck with me this whole video, thank you so much for sticking around. I just believe it's important for clarity. And for those that want to take something and from my video and then make a video about twisting my words. I'm not a fan of that. I think that that's silly. That they don't have anything better to do with their time or... Well, you're welcome for providing you with a great topic of discussion on your channel. <laughs> Jeez. But anyways, guys, it is Saturday. It's the weekend. I've had a stressful, crazy week as usual. And I'm glad the weekend's here and I can enjoy this baby. She is currently wearing a Jacquardy sleeper. It's got little raspberries all over it with a little petal neck collar. I really love it. It is a one month size. It barely fits. They've definitely gotten smaller with their new stuff because this is one of the new lines. Um, so I hope they don't make them any smaller because then she won't fit into any of the one months and the three months is too little too big. So I do have a three month size in the new line and it's just a little too big and I don't like how it fits. Ah, struggle is real. And I have, um, some haul videos that I'd like to do at least one haul, like maybe a collective haul of some of the newer stuff that I've gotten for her recently and for Parker, of course. So I may do that video at some point in the next week or so. But I will be back on probably either later today or even tomorrow to do another video that's of a nicer, happier topic. But thank you as always for watching, you guys. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate that, that you take the time to comment, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback, so I really enjoy that. So thank you so much. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And Monroe and I will see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.